Hello, I want to take you through what you are expected to do in your presentation for student enterprise idea. Because you are expected in your course to have a presentation on the student enterprise idea. What do you do? First and foremost, you need to look out for the idea. How do you get that idea, the enterprise idea? It's for you to survey, scan around the environment to identify challenges that need solution. And it is opportunity for you to provide solution to those challenges that will give you the idea. So in this regard, there are different kinds of ideas that might come through your mind. There are some ideas that will lead you to production. There are some ideas that may not be production, that will lead to social enterprise. For example, if we are dealing with ideas that will lead to production, you may be thinking of something that will come up in the area of going into an industry, going into a workshop to come up with something that will help to provide solution to the identified challenge or challenges. So in this regard, when you're talking about such ideas, we need to be creative and innovative. You will be innovative if the solution you want to prefer, there is already an existing solution, but you want to improve on the solution that we prefer in that particular challenge area. Now, let's set an example. Before now, for us to type our document, we use a QWERTY typewriter. And with a QWERTY typewriter, we know how our document turns out. Sometimes the documents are not made after typing. But today, there has been an innovative move on the machines that are used in typing our documents. And we can now use the computer to make our document neater and more presentable. That is an innovation. But when you are coming up with a creative idea, a creative idea can come up in the sense that maybe that particular challenge has not had any solution of any kind. You are coming up with a solution. A new way that that idea could be, uh, the challenge could be resolved. So that idea will come up in a creative manner. So when you are coming up with a creative idea, it means that idea is not yet in place. But when you are improving on already existing idea, then it means it's innovative. So when you are coming up with your idea, it could be innovative or it could be creative. But however, what is mostly important, that your idea must provide solution. For example, in the last presentation that some students did, yes, you want to present a cake. What is the new idea? What is the new thing you are bringing up into the baking of cake? What is the thing that is done, new, that is new, different from the way it used to be, to be done? That is your innovative idea. So, dear, what you need to do is to work on those ideas. Then, apart from going into production, you could have what we call social enterprise. When you are going into social enterprise, what is being expected of you? Again, in this regard, your focus is not on profit making. Because for every business, you discover that the focus of an average businessman is to make profit. You want to make profit to have more money than you have. But again, to understand that yes, you have that money, but you feel like, oh, let me help others around me. Sometimes you may not even have the money, but you have the passion to assist others, to solve some challenges around you. So in this case, let us start from where we have known. Like you could decide to become a philanthropist. You don't necessarily become a philanthropist because you have so much. Sometimes some are philanthropic because they have the passion to give out, to share what you have, what you know, you can become a philanthropist. But if you are a philanthropist, what happened is that when you give out, that that you give out is consumed and it ends at that. So you can decide to turn what you wanted to use as being a philanthropist to make it a social enterprise. Now let us cite an example with things that are happening around us. In Nigeria, there are still some villages. They don't have access 
to portable water. They don't have access to good water that they can drink in their homes. If you discover that and you feel, oh, let us make a social enterprise out of this, you can put in money or you can liaise with those that can have a support to build a sort system that can be supplying them water. And the water may not totally be free. You can make them to pay a token, but that token should be such that they can afford, that they will not feel the pinch. And what will you do with the token? Because your focus is not on profit making. That token, you cannot use it to sustain the plant. You'll be using it to sustain the plant, and maybe when you have one plant, you cannot get to two plants, three plants. You are not getting the profit. You are not, your focus is not on profit to enrich yourself, to make yourself better. But your focus in this instance is to provide the social amenities that they will enjoy. So when you do this, you are into social entrepreneur. And the social entrepreneur, again, it depends on where you want to provide the social entrepreneur. It could be in the legal service, it could be in the uh, medical areas, it could be in the educational sector. You can provide social entrepreneur. You can even provide social entrepreneur in terms of entertainment. You can provide social entrepreneur if in so many other areas that are, has to do with the social enablement. So when you are coming up with your business idea, come up with a business idea that is out there to solve a problem. Now you are looking at two things. One, are you coming up with a business idea to uh, make profit? If you are coming up with a business idea to make profit, fine, that is a different enterprise. Now, are you coming up with a business idea to help the environment, to help some group of persons, or to help the persons that are in a particular environment who feel they need assistance? That will go into social uh, enterprise. So, whichever type of enterprise you are coming up with, what is the baseline? It must be innovative or it must be creative. So there must be a creative idea. There must be an innovative idea in the type of enterprise you are coming up with. So how are you going to do your presentation? Now you've gotten the idea. You have to now work on the idea on your own because we're not going to teach you. This is your own idea. You have great idea. We are looking towards a situation whereby we can create things in our environment and let others come and use what we have created in our environment. And what we create in, within our environment, we work better in the environment and in environment that are likely to the same environment where we are. So once this idea has come up, you now have the idea, put the idea into practice. You come up with something and that thing you have come up with, because you have come, going to come up with how the idea is going to work. That is what you are going to present as your idea. Now, to scale up that idea, that is where you will now need a business plan. How are you going to scale up? How, what do you need time to do to make this idea work? Because when you have the idea, you may have been able to work on the idea within the four walls of your room. You may have been able to test the idea within the four walls of your room. And you may, apart from the working within four walls of your room, maybe you just work with some few persons and you tested the idea. But to scale up, to make this idea a big one, to make this idea to get to where you ought to be, there you need to now come up to tell us how you're going to achieve this. Considering the monetary part you're going that will be involved, the processing that is going to be involved, and how it will benefit those that you want them to benefit from this idea. That is where your business plan now comes in. So in your presentation, you will be given between five to ten minutes to talk to your idea. And again, when you have this idea, sometimes you may not be able to fly your idea alone. That is where you can do a group work. You don't just call people to come and join you when you are de developing or you are about to present your enterprise idea. The idea you can only tell people to join you in, those that have similar ideas to share that will contribute to the idea that you have. Again, let me cite an example with the last uh, set of students that presented their business enterprise. You discover that some of them, what they did, they just group people together, even when the idea was not uh, related, the idea was not, uh, uh, they didn't have similar idea. For example, you want to present, uh, a lot of them did some work on fruit juice. 
if you do the work of fruit juice in that area you remember you will need to other persons that will help you fly that tent here. We need somebody who could do analysis to know the complement, the complement of what that juice is made of. So you need somebody that is in the chemistry area, that has chemistry knowledge to help you do some analysis. Then there are some other things you may need. There is storage system. You will need somebody too. In food processing, you will need somebody. But you have the idea, but you now have to work with others that will help you to come up with the idea. That is where you can now do a group work. You don't just bring people together for bringing them uh, together. No, you must have a role. Each of you is. And when you want to be scored, you will be scored according to the idea you have contributed in that particular enterprise. So once this is done, you will be given between five to ten minutes like i've mentioned for you to present your idea then your business plan you will submit it and it will be scored so this is what is expected of you in your student enterprise development plan where you are to present the idea of your student enterprise idea so i believe with this you'll be able to work along with your idea but if you have any challenge Please feel free to call upon or contact your incubation center coordinator because in the six zones we have incubation center coordinators. We have one in Maiduguri servicing the northeast. We have one in Kano servicing the northwest. We have one in Abuja Modern Study Center servicing the north central. We have one in Enugu servicing the students in the southeast. We have one in Uyo, services students in the South South, and we have one in Lagos Study Center, services students in the Southwest. So with this, I wish you the best.